All right, so doing a little different video today. Why not? And I probably say that like every video because all my videos gonna be different and all my videos is probably gonna be the first time I'm doing it, but hey. So in this video, I'm gonna be ranking all the uh, fast food chicken sandwiches. Uh, I would like to call myself almost a fast food connoisseur. So it's like, it's only right for me to do this. So some of the videos, they might be here, they might be in my car, they might be on the side of the street. I might post up next to a homeless person. You never know, but I'm just gonna try every sandwich, get my review on it, and then when I try them, I'm gonna rank them. Pretty simple. With the first sandwich, and this kind of is like a combination review because I've never had this sandwich. Um, we got we got good old Wing Stop here. Uh, you know, Wing Stop. Um, you know, me being from Memphis, Wing Stop is just like a. Or well, people any place with good wings, you know that Wing Stop is just like, bro. Why are you getting wings from Wing Stop, bro? Are you oh, like okay, like mentally? But it's not like they have bad chicken or their food is bad. It's just when it comes to wings, there's so many better options. But this is not about wings. This is about a chicken sandwich. I really don't know what made Wing Stop get into the chicken sandwich game. Probably was just down bad, bored. They're like, bro, what the fuck else can we do? God damn. Somebody make up some nigga was like, chicken sandwich. Somebody was like, you getting the raise. Nah, we're not paying you, but good idea. We're gonna take it. And me being the kind of suit that I am, I'm like, of course I have to try them. Like, capitalism worked this time. Cause if I see a commercial about a sandwich, I'm just a good chance I'm gonna try it. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we have the sandwich unboxing. Let's take a look at this thing. Look at those fries and look at the sandwich. Now look at the sauce on that mother. F Woo! Boy, that bitch is drenched. Sh sheesh. That sandwich looks good. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That bun looks like it's pretty darn tasty, man. If I could say so myself. And Wingstop's fries are just, they're naturally good. So enough has been said. Let's just dig into this darn sandwich, man. Gotta roll the sleeves up. Come on now, I'm a grown man. Just take a look at that. Mmm. Look at that fucking thing, Jesus. Not too much pickle on there. It's done, it's drenched in sauce. It's mango habanero, by the way. Let's take the first bite. <laughs> I guess you can call this a mukbang too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chicken salad. No, I'm playing. But like, it's not the biggest piece of chicken, but it's a good piece of chicken. Bread is soft. This sauce is so drenched in this chicken, but in the right way. Like, this is actually a mango habanero flavored chicken sandwich. Usually, just get a, a sandwich with some sauce on it. But now nah, this is they drenched this mug, and it's a good sauce choice too. I ain't gonna lie, they surprised me. I ain't gonna lie. This is a sandwich I would go back for, I ain't gonna lie. I, okay, maybe maybe it's just a flavor, but I'm giving this like a nine out of 10, bro. Like this sandwich is actually exceeding my expectations. Cause that's actually a really good sandwich. Hey, go try this sandwich, bro. Hey, hey, eat. Hey, hey, hey. hey. You did your thing, Wingstop, I ain't gonna lie. A solid ass chicken sandwich. All right, so hopefully this records good because usually I use my laptop to record. But we are back with another chicken sandwich. Today we are here with Wendy's. Let's see what Wendy's got to offer, man. I ain't gonna lie, Wendy's got like three different chicken sandwiches, so I just chose the one that says spice. Now they, they got an Asiago Ranch one. Bustin'. Let's take a look at this, look at this bad boy. Okay, you know, a decent sized piece of chicken on it. Um, 
you know, questionable uh, piece of lettuce and tomato. Definitely doesn't look the best. You know, like they threw this whole against the wild before they served it to me. Fucking abused this goddamn bread. Shit. That doesn't matter. It matters on the taste. Good size piece of chicken, though. I can tell whoever they get, like they get all that chicken from the same place. Cause it's like, it doesn't taste like a chicken nugget, but like it's the same chicken, if that makes sense. It's actually like first bite was pretty good. Now, like I said, appearance wise, not the best, but it actually doesn't taste that bad. I need some more from this though. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's not enough flavors on this chicken sandwich. Like with other places, you know, it's it's one thing to stand out to really, it'll really catch you. This just tastes like, you know, a pretty good chicken sandwich. A regular piece of lettuce, you know, a tomato, mayo. Like the chicken and the bread is not enough flavor to, to mask that it's nothing else on this sandwich. Like if this chicken was just really good, like maybe like Popeyes, it's a good chicken sandwich though. Now maybe the Asiago Ranch Club is the one I, yeah, I probably go back and try it because it's honestly, it just tastes good. I give this one like a, between like a seven and seven and a half, honestly. It's it's not great, but it's good. And I wouldn't just say it's just really good, but it is a solid chicken sandwich. We're gonna try again with the Asiago Ranch Club because like I said, Wendy's had like three different chicken sandwiches. So we're gonna try again. But I'm just not noticing that my car is one of the worst fucking interior designs of all fucking time. Like, there's no way to fucking just rest a damn camera in. Like, none of this shit is flat in here. We are back again. Like I said, I said I was gonna try all the sandwiches. Well, I, look, I do not look good right now. But you know what? That's okay, bro. In life, sometimes you just don't look good, bro. Today we have Chick Fil A and KFC. Any regular person has had a K has had a Chick Fil A sandwich. For the video, I just you know I have to try. It. I have to. Well, I don't have to try. I just have to eat it. Chick Fil A is not is not one of the best because it's just the, the best tasting. It's just the most reliable, the most consistent. It's not really good or really bad. It's just it's just good enough that you can enjoy it. And sometimes you can really enjoy it, and then sometimes you can just like kind of enjoy it. Okay. Y'all seen a, a damn chicken sound before? Yeah, y'all seen the chicken sound before. So, pretty good piece of chicken. You know, of course, the two pickles. So, yeah, bro, it's just a Chick fil A sandwich, bro. It's, it's, it's really letting us to it. Now, I will say this a Chick fil A sandwich, no sauce, it's like a six. With sauce, it's a seven. It could be a seven or eight. That's another thing. Chick fil A. Their sauces are kind of like carrying their food. That's just what it is. Like, Chick fil A has great sauces. So, yeah, like I can say this is a Chick fil A sandwich, y'all already know. So, without sauce, six. With sauce, you could give it eight. Bro, that sauce is going to hit every time. Now, this is. Uh, KFC, I guess, at some point put out chicken sandwich. Bro, as soon as, as soon as they saw how niggas reacted to that Popeye sandwich, every, every restaurant, every fast food place said, hey, we gotta get on this shit. So now everyone has a damn chicken sandwich. Which is fine, you know? You just know they, the idea isn't original. Chick-fil-A is the originators. But it makes sense, because Popeye's is a chicken place. Niggas went crazy over it. Like it was goddamn cocaine in the 80s. They like it was some Travis Scott ones or any shoe that Travis Scott puts out. Niggas had to have it. I mean, it, but it is a good sandwich. So, you know, that's fair. Getting shot over a chicken sandwich is, is damn disappointing. Like if I die to a chicken sandwich, I don't even have my funeral. But anyways, KFC got a chicken sandwich. You know, this is a fat ass piece of chicken. I'm not gonna lie. That's a healthy chicken, piece of chicken. And I got spicy, so it's got some kind of sauce on it. Decent piece of bread. Let's just see, bro.
It's solid. This just reminds me of a Popeye's sandwich, but just not as good as a Popeye's sandwich. And for this sandwich to be five goddamn dollars, why when fast food places are going broke or, or just in general, it might just be inflation. They charge more for shit, but it's like, that's not even our fault, bro. Y'all should have done better marketing. Y'all food should have been better. But instead of trying to fix some shit, y'all blame us and try to charge $5 for a chicken sandwich. Cause it kind of just pissed me off. Cause it's a solid chicken sandwich, but it's not worth no damn $5. I mean, of course I'm gonna still finish it. I'm not crazy, but this sandwich ain't worth $5. And I don't even know how much a meal would have been if the sandwich itself is five dollars. Crazy as fuck, KFC. Why you think no one is? Anyways, I don't even know. I give this one a whole seven, bro. Well, I might give this one. Okay, I would say between six and a half and seven. And I'm basing that off the the bread and the chicken was decent, but it was just decent. The sauce was kind of weird. I didn't like the sauce. And it was fucking $5. Not worth it. All right, so we are here again. Eating another sandwich. And today we're doing Popeyes. Now we all know the, the regular, you know, just regular spicy chicken sandwich. We all know how crazy the fucking whole country of America went for, for these fucking sandwiches. Like Jesus Christ. I don't know if this, I don't know if it was during the pandemic, but it was the pandemic before the pandemic. But now they have another sandwich. It's a blackened chicken sandwich. And I think I'm just gonna eat the regular one first and then eat the second one just to see if, you know, there's any really uh, difference in taste. But y'all know, y'all see the sandwich. Y'all seen this sound before. The appearance of the sandwich itself, I wouldn't say it's just crazy or just it looks just crazy good. I don't know if it's focused, but with Popeyes, you can't really be worried about looks. You can't judge a book by its cover type thing. So, I mean, I already know what the sandwich tastes like, but here, here we go. The bread isn't even really that amazing, but the chicken and the sauce, it just like them flavors overpower this the, the bread so much to where this is still a really good sandwich. Like the bread is cool. It's nice bread. You know, nice pickles, even though you know I'm not a pickle type of guy, but nice pickles, pause. The chicken and the sauce are so good that it's like the the bread don't even matter. As long as the bread is decent, this is still gonna be a really good sandwich. Right, this is a this is a good sandwich, y'all. Right. I don't know if it's worth your shot over, but it's good. I think I'm real. Like I really want to give it like I would say like a between the eight and the nine. Because I like I said, the bread isn't just isn't just great, but the sauce with the chicken and the pickle is just such like, those flavors are just, it's just so much flavor in that. It makes up for what the bread is. I don't know if the sandwich is worth getting shot over. I would say it's worth getting in a fight over, but only if I were to win and get his sandwich. Now this is the blackened, it's the blackened chicken sandwich. piece of chicken because like i said the chicken sandwich is so good it's like it didn't really need anything else but this one uh the bottom piece of bread is beat the fuck up like jesus christ like floor mayweather beat up but the, the top bun is you know it's cool oh i wouldn't even focus yeah we just gonna we just gonna try it bro
That's a good sandwich. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a good sandwich. The first one tastes like a chicken that they made spicy. This one tastes like the like the flavor and the spiciness was like baked into this motherfucker. Like, like it was a spicy chicken. Like in real life, like it was an actual chicken that was spicy. Like the chicken grew up spicy type shit. That is a good sandwich, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Bro, that's a good fucking sandwich, man. That is a good fucking sandwich. They fucking did it again, bro. That is a good ass sandwich. You know something good when you start just looking at that motherfucker? Like, damn, how they make this bitch? Where that spicy chicken running around at? Uh, so I had to finish that video in the house, but the bread was a little better this time. You know, of course, Popeye is always going to be a nice... A nice, you know, thick piece of chicken. Like, I ain't gonna lie, them motherfucking seasonings and goddamn whatever the shit blackened, whatever that shit is. That motherfucker worked, cause that damn chicken, that shit tastes like it grew up spicy, bro. Like, that shit been, been was deep in its roots. And the sauce with the pick, it was, that was, mm, that was a solid ass sandwich. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm giving it like, between like an 8.75 and like a 9.25. Even though them weird, like very specific numbers, but we got some real contenders. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't I didn't expect that sounds to be that good. All right, on to the next one. Now for some reason, Bird King got they dumb ass in the chicken sound game. When no one fucking eats there, sadly. I mean, I'm sorry. You know, Bird King CEO, if you see this. You know, y'all need to change some recipes or better marketing or something. But what's happening now is not working. I mean, I guess you got me to try this sandwich. So, I mean, I guess someone's working. Now, I'm not gonna lie. This is, this looks pretty appealing. Yeah, man. And this could be a commercial. Y'all can lucky use this for a commercial. Y'all need anything y'all can get, honestly. A, a nice size piece of chicken. You know, some cool lettuce and tomato. The bread looks good. All right, let's stick in, man. And this is spicy, by the way. Okay, so my first thought is that this sandwich is solid. Like I said, the chicken is decently good. It's not really that spicy, but it doesn't really taste bad. The lettuce and tomato good, do good. Like, it's not too much lettuce, it's not too much tomato, not too much mayo, but not bad. Not a bad sandwich, it's just, it's very solid. Like, it's one of those very dependable, like a Chick-fil-A almost. But I wouldn't say this is as good as Chick-fil-A sandwich. Like I said, it's solid. It's just not really any like redeeming qualities about it. I mean, this bread, this bread is good. And it's a solid piece of chicken. It's nothing really outstanding about it. But it's not bad though. I would, uh, I guess I would give it between like, like maybe like a 6.75. And that's just because it's not, it doesn't taste bad. Like it's it's a solid sandwich, but that's just it really. It just, it's just solid. Like it's nothing really notable about it other than it's just, it's solid. You know, it's, it's a decent sandwich. I don't know what made them get into the game. Probably because they broke, but hey, you know, you do a lot of different things when you broke. So I, I mean, I understand that part. Just solid. That's really all I have to say about it. <sighs> so on to the next. Today we have, McDonald's. Now, McDonald's, you know, one of the staples of this country, one of the best things America has made, besides like, um, you know, capitalism and all that stuff. You know, it's a nice looking chicken sandwich. 
some some nice looking braid. The braid looks real soft. You know, it's a goddamn salad on it, but you know, that's okay. You got tomato in there too. The, the chicken looks good. Looks good. Let's just let's just take a bite, man. Let's see. Another one is just, it's just solid. The braid is good, you know, even though, you know, uh, it's hella lettuce on it, but the lettuce and tomato is not bad. Like it's, it's not a bad like taste on it, but yeah, like it's just, it's, it's, you know, a decent piece of chicken. Nice bread though. I will say that it's good, some good bread. Kind of just solid, you know, solid chicken sandwich. It's honestly probably their goal though. Like, I don't think anyone in the fast food is reasonably trying to beat Chick-fil-A or Popeyes in a chicken sandwich match. Cause truthfully, you're not gonna win that. Now, maybe it was the sauce I had in the wing stop sandwich, but that one was really good. Like that's the one that I say tied or like could rival those two sandwiches. But every other one I think I've had was just kind of, I think just really solid. Like, not just really good, but definitely good enough. Like, good enough to, you know, make me get another one. So, I'm also giving this one between a 6.5 and a 7. At a base level, I don't, I still don't think it's still the base level of a chick, of a Chick-fil-A sandwich, which I think I gave that like a 7 or something. Chick-fil-A sandwich, I would still probably get over this one. So, yeah, another solid sandwich. On to the next one. All right, so today we are here for another chicken sandwich. We got Zaxby's now. As you see, this braid is beat the hell up. Boxing match. I mean, chicken doesn't look bad, but this braid is just beat the hell up. Like, Jesus Christ. Look, we just gonna, we just gonna do it. This is, a, this is a nice piece of chicken though, I ain't gonna lie. So despite the bread being how it is, I mean, it's still like soft, decent bread. I'm telling you, just having some good chicken is gonna take you far because despite, you know, I don't know if they just like crumbled my bread up before they put it on, on the, the chicken, but the bread is, is fucked up, but it's, it's, it's decent bread. But this chicken is just real good, like, if you know, if you eat Zaxby's, you know they, they have some good chicken. So that's what I'm tasting. That's It's that kind of chicken, but you know, just in the patty. And it's seasoned real well. Like got some good crunch and everything. I think it's just Zax sauce on here, honestly. Or maybe some kind of special sauce, I don't know. But the sauce is decent. And the quality of the chicken is what's making this even, you know, kind of good. Now, I think I'm willing to give this one a 7.25. I think I gave Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A is kind of how I base most sandwiches. I gave six Chick-fil-A base level a seven. And I think this might just be slightly better, but that's just cause chicken is actually just good. But I don't think it's a 7.5. So I would give it like a 7.25. Now, I don't know who else or how many other ones I have left, but I ain't lie, this is fun. Like, just eating, like I already eat anyway, so I was like, why not make a video out of it? So yeah, I don't know who's next, but hey, on to the next one. All right, so what's going on? Hopefully y'all can hear me good. Hey, y'all feeling what y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? Y'all good? Not nah, playing. So I think I'm gonna end it there, I think. I think I'm gonna do another video continuing the chicken sandwiches, but I'll do the just like just the deluxe because, like I said, for some reason every fast food place want to have like three, four chickens. So I'm like, bro, I'm not doing all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna do that. Can't do that one. <sighs> but uh, yeah. So I think I'm just gonna do that in a continuous video. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. 
like I said, I had fun just eating on camera. You know, that was that was cool. I fuck with it. I'm pretty sure I won't put it like on a list, but basically, Chick-fil-A Popeyes Wing Stop was the top ones. They they the ones who those are the sandwiches I'ma remember. Like them motherfuckers was just good. Every other one was like I said, it was just a sandwich. Hey, that's just my opinion though. Just a random nigga. Don't shoot me. You know what I'm saying? All the CEOs of these places. You know what I'm saying? Just a nigga with an opinion. But yeah, so like I said, I I just make another video. Why why not? So yeah, that was that. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I see the subscribers going up. I thank that. I thank y'all for that. Hope y'all enjoy. Subscribe, like, comment. You know what I'm saying? I like to see y'all comment and stuff. And yeah, I thank y'all. And see you.